Dealing with Human Capital with Jason Knight is sponsored by Human Capital Strategies, the next best thing to know employees. Jason, welcome. Oh, thank you very much, John. For those of you that don't know, we're kind of in a tough economy right now. Yeah. So that has caused, obviously, some turnover, some reductions in force and, and so forth. Pink slips. Uh, exactly. <laughs> don't do too many statistics usually, but back in 2007, we had 64,000 unemployment level, and now we've got, in March of this year, 153,000. That's just so, for Phoenix, Arizona. That's just okay. for Phoenix, yep. So That's my, my neighborhood, actually. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Explains a lot of the signs in that. <laughs> and as a result of that, obviously... There is processes that an employer should go through in order to reduce their force. And this is not just a normal termination, hey, you know, you've been screwing up and get out, get out of here kind of thing. This is, while it's not a happy scenario, it is a little bit easier to deal with because you can go in, first of all, you have to have a solid understanding and foundation of who you're going to let go. Is it a reduction of a specific position or tenure or what have you? All right, but now before we get to the layoffs, do you recommend asking people if they're willing to take salary cuts before we start laying people off? Absolutely. We've got a lot of clients that are doing that right now. The only danger there is that you do it with some rationale. You don't want to discriminate. What if somebody doesn't want to play that game? What if there's an employer, too, that says, no, I'm not willing to take a cut and pay. Either I'm on or I'm off. Well, well then, they're off. Then they've made their own decision. <laughs> so yeah. so you, don't, you don't let them stay? Each employer needs to make that decision for themselves. I mean, depending on the position and the importance of it, et cetera. But again, uh-huh. you start getting into some potential liability. So if so-and-so doesn't make the change and somebody else is going to, is there a discrimination issue there now? I mean, you as the employer need to still have control of over your company. So could there be a discrimination suit, say, for example, if a company did allow one or two people to keep their pay and everybody else took a cut, could they be sued? We've talked about this in the past. You can sue anybody for anything or nothing <laughs> that's whatsoever. Yeah, so that's I'm that's not how gonna, we plan to get rich here. I'm not going to answer that yeah, one. I always <laughs> take notes in this section to find out how many times I can sue somebody. <laughs> but no, there there is obviously lots of uh, potential liability. So when you when you do a reduction in pay, you need to make sure non-exempt employees that you keep them at least above minimum wage, obviously. Okay. Uh, when you're doing salaried employees, you don't want to break FLSA regulations and you don't want to do it based upon how much time they work, but more as a entire department that you're going to take a 3% pay cut or everybody in the company is going to take a 10% pay cut or whatever it is, you need to have some equality to it. And it's not just random that, okay, you're going to get a reduction. Now, are some of these policies and rules part of your compliance links on your website? Well, yeah, FLSA is in there and some other things. I mean, you'll have to do a lot of searching to get some answers, but yeah, there, there's there. All right. So we're going to direct our listeners then to your page on our website. They can click there and get all that information. That'd be perfect. All right. This Human Resources segment is brought to you by Human Capital Strategies. We do the things that employers don't like to do, don't know how to do, and oftentimes don't even know they're supposed to do. Human Capital Strategies, the next best thing to know employees. For more information or to contact Jason, please visit thejohnadamshow.com and click on CAST. You're listening to The John Adams Show. 